Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to create a beautiful hover effect for a full website using only HTML and CSS. That's right, you don't need any JavaScript for this effect. In this tutorial, we will be using only HTML and CSS to create a simple yet effective hover effect that you can use in your own website. For this, first you have to go to canva.com. Now click on create a design button, select custom size, enter dimensions as 1080 pixels, click on create new design, now go to uploads, I have already uploaded a image file here, you can upload your own files using this upload button, now just go and click on this image. Click on edit photo, BG remover and that's it. We have a background free image. Let me crop it and position it properly. I think this is perfect. Let's click on done. Enlarge the image. Now let us duplicate this page. As you can see we have exact du duplicate of the above page. Now what you have to do is search every element in the bowl. For example I will go for lettuce first. Click on the image and place it near lettuce. I'll do similar thing with other ingredients as well. I found this is the easiest way to create such type of images. You can use any other tool of your choice like Adobe Illustrator or something else. But this seems to be the easiest and fastest way. Also I have Canva Pro. In case you don't have Canva Pro, you can just download images from the internet and create this. Lastly, I am placing meat on its appropriate position. Let me position other things properly. Yeah, and uh, we also left avocado, which I will be placing now. Now you have to click on share, download the image and select PNG, transparent background. Here I made a mistake of not selecting the transparent background option but in your case please do select the background transparent background option. Let's see the output images. This is how the output images look like. We have to create more such images and get them ready and put it in our project folder. Now let us go to the coding part. We start with the HTML code. We begin by creating a HTML element with class of box. This element will be used as a container for our images. Next we create a div with class container which will be used to hold two other elements that is an image 
and another wrapper element inside the wrapper we have an image with a class image1 and a source attribute pointing to ingredients1.png next we create another image element with class of image2 and a source attribute pointing to bowl1.png now let's copy paste this container one more time this time the source will be pointing to ingredient2.png and bowl2.png respectively for image1 and image2 as you can see the images are in position properly and they are very large at this time so let's go to css and we begin by this block of code which applies styles to all the elements on the page it sets the padding and margin to 0 and sets the box sizing property to border box which tells the browser to include the padding and border in the elements total width and height next we set the width of box container to 90 vw which is 90% of the viewport width and center it using transforms and left and top property this is a very common method for centering anything from text to images let us also center and position the child elements of box now coming to container we set the position property of container to relative which means that the child element will be positioned relative to its parent it also sets the height and width properties to 500 px each next we target all the images inside the container element and set their position property to absolute this allows us to position them freely inside the container in the next step we target an image with class of image 2 and set its width property to 100 percent it also sets the cursor property to pointer which changes the cursor to a hand icon when hovering over the image now we target an image with class of image 1 and set its width to 100 percent it also sets the position property to absolute and applies transition of one second which means the transformation will take one second to complete next we set the transform origin property to center which means the transformation will be applied from center of the image we apply a transform to scale the image to zero and rotate it by 100 degrees lastly we target the container element when it is being hovered over and target the image one element inside it applying a transform to scale the image back to its original size this creates the hover effect where the image gradually grows into its size when the user hovers on it you can go ahead and customize the transition origins or transition timings etc that's all for today's tutorial thank you for tuning in i hope you found it informative and helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials like this see you in next one